Hello, welcome back to another Chaotic Friday or Cringe Friday. If you're new here, I'm Athena. I do Music Mondays and Chaotic Fridays every week. And now I also have a job. I'm a hostess at a restaurant and um, how do I feel about my new job? I hate capitalism. I got blisters. It's my first day and I got blisters. All I want to do is be a YouTuber. That's it. Anyway, that's the most Gen Z thing you'll ever hear in your life. I hate working. Oh my gosh. How I would love to only be a YouTuber, but <laughs> alas, no more. No, wait. <sighs> Okay, let me explain that little mental break that I had. I was trying to bring it back to the cover I did yesterday of Mad at Disney because it was all about like, oh, some dreams don't come true. But then I was like, wait, none of these lyrics work for me not liking my job. Anyway, you might know me from TikTok where I scream at the sky. Horses are able to grow mustaches! I was recently on TikTok and I kept getting ads for different apps that I would never download unless I was making a video like this where I review apps that TikTok ads suggested me. So first we're going to play the ads for the apps and then we're actually going to test out the apps. So let's get started. The first ad we have here is for a game called Fruit Clinic which you've probably already seen. It No one asked for this game. Come on, what's taking so long? Can't you see she's in pain? Do something! Gently now. You're hurting her. Be Get you a man as supportive as that man eggplant. He was protective. He was so excited when he said, wow, I'm a dad. I felt that. I felt that right in here, in my ribs. Oh, let's play this game. I don't want him to yell at me though. Oh, got to stitch up this apple. Ew. Oh, I hate the way it's going like this. And look at his face. He's kind of like, uh, oh, that's like semi sexual. What the hell? Okay. I'm going to do it, but I'm not going to like it. Oh, why is he in love with me now? Ah! So I knew I had to review this game because it's called Murder Hornet. And if you are new to this channel, y'all, I'm scared of murder hornets. Specifically in my mouth. I'm scared of murder hornets in my mouth. Glad I have another reason not to leave my house. You're just the bee and you just have to land on the face, which seems like a really easy... They're making it look so easy. I mean, it is. Her face is huge. Like, I'm a little bee. How hard can it be? Shut up. Shut up! So first, I got to awaken the hornet's nest. Tap. Why? <laughs> Why? Why am I... Why is he a dancing hot dog? That was so dumb. I can't even... I Holy crap, is that the whole game? Whoa! Look at that! That's like the evolution, Pokemon evolution. That's terrifying. I hate it. I hate it. This is like a game for really, really, oh, oh, she was just vibing for like really, what's the word, violent toddlers. Because the gameplay is just too simple. I want there to be, oh, I hate this ad. Yeah, what's up with all the violence? Oh no, not the old lady. <laughs> Can you imagine if everything on your phone was gone? No Instagram, no YouTube, no nothing, and that was your only source of entertainment? Jeez, how quickly would you go crazy? Leave it in a comment below. I feel like a boomer. I feel like I feel like this is what 13-year-olds are playing, and they're like, oh, yeah, Grandma, get with it. We love just stinging random victims and watching them flail their bodies in the air. I mean, the hot dog thing was funny for a second. Who's downloading these apps? I guess I am. Oh, I remember this. So it's five apps to make your summer less boring. So I clicked on the thing and it brought me to, surprisingly, an article. And it was like, apps to try when you're bored in the house to make some money. And this one came up, it said, pop some colorful bubbles to make some bank. So I'm going to test this out and see if I make any real life moolah from popping some bubbles. Because if so, I'm going to quit my job. Oh, there's a picture of me crying. I'll use that one. <laughs> Athena, P, subscribe. This is so revolutionary. I've never, ever, 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 ever played a game like this. This is so new. How did they even think of this idea? Wow, I've never seen this before. How cool, how hip, how fun, how fresh. Oh my god, Gander Probable, one. Screw this. I'm playing again. Oh, looky, looky, it's just me and my way too many stuffed animals for a 22 year old. <laughs> Yeah! You can't even test out the theory of like, oh, do you actually make money from this game? Because it, hypothetically, if you could, if they're not bullshitting you, like, 
I'm not good enough to make money from this game, so I can't even test it out. I can't just be like, oh, I didn't make money from it, so therefore nobody makes money from it. And that's not how things work. I was just shitting on this game, and now I'm like, I actually want to be good at it? No, that's the opposite of what I wanted to happen today. No! What's up? What's good? Freaking pack it polite from the United States? You can pack it polite my nutsack. And the last TikTok ad app that we're going to be testing today is this one. I think this one will be the best one. Ooh. She looks like a female Edward Cullen. I can't read this fast. The way I interpret chapters is that it's like a more mature, like sexy episode. <laughs> you know what I mean? So let's see. I also think you probably have to pay a lot of money to do anything on the game, but I do want to try it out. I've been, I've been dying to try these storytelling bullshit games. All right, vote below. Am I sweet, honest, and devoted? Fit, protective, and take charge? Or dark, suave, and mysterious? Vote below. Ha, <laughs> doesn't matter. Uh, I'm sweet, honest, and devoted. Sweet, honest, and devoted. Oh my god, shut up. The billionaire next door. Hot billionaire, boss, good girl, neighbor. Things good girls don't do. Forbidden, bad boy, small town. Good girls don't kiss guys like Chase. Good girls don't kiss guys like Chase Trapasso. Let's see Chase Trapasso. <laughs> Cody Gray loves writing books almost as much as she loves outings with her family. Girl, okay, I'm gonna stop that. Growing up, my mother always told me I'm a good girl. Why? Because good goods girls, wait, because goods girls go far in life? Good girls are respected. Good girls find true love. Good girls always succeed at everything they do. Need I say more? <laughs> a faint scowl tinges your lips as you absently run your finger along the rim of your empty glass. I don't know what tinges means. A faint scowl tinges your lips as you absently run your finger along the rim of your empty glass. Well, mother's wrong because the only good girls get in the end is a broken heart. She's pissed. Anger boils in the bitter deep pit of your stomach as you tip the glass over. Yeah. Guilt nibbles at your gut. Yeah, that was really weird. Can you imagine being at a bar and you just see this girl just like and then all of a sudden she just tips the glass over. What is she doing? Are you okay? Seven damn years I treated Jimmy right. I've supported him. I loved him and... And he cheated on me with a girl six years younger than me. And twice my bra size. What? Seems a little irrelevant. And if you noticed... Do you want to get with Jimmy's girl? I don't know. Oh, right. Um, I'm finally a decision I have to make. Be open and honest with your communication. A little distracted. A flash of concern crosses over Steph's eyes, but she just laughs and a bit nods. <laughs> well, stop being distracted. We're not here to be distracted. We're here to celebrate. Jesus, Steph, a little intense. You eye your second glass of beer and bite the inside of your lip. I'm going to drink some beer. You know what? You're right. We're here to celebrate, so let's celebrate. Don't tell me this bitch gets drunk off two beers. Just as you begin to drink, the doors to the bar opens and hush settles over the room. Like, what are we? Are we like in a Western saloon? <gasps> A diamond in the rough hottie. <laughs> a diamond in the rough hottie sporting a red leather jacket and an easy but almost dangerous smile. The bartender snorts as he pours the stranger a beer. That is Trace Trapasso. Why did they give him that name? It's not a to stare, you know. It makes both parties feel awkward. So that wraps up this chaotic slash cringe Friday. Let me know if you want to see more of chapters. I really want to see where Chase and Athena go. It seems like it's getting a little spicy. So definitely let me know in the comments below which app do you think would be your favorite to play, least favorite to play. Did you like this? Do you want to see more of this? Let me know what you want to see next. I have a lot more stuff on my channel from recreating big time rush scenes to transforming myself into my Toontown character to letting you know who Midnight Red is. It's, it's a fun time. Check it out. Subscribe if you like what you see and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great Day, stay safe, wear a mask. Bye!